Like many other places in the southern Baltic, the Curonian Lagoon in Lithuania suffers from an excess of nutrients. But these artificial floating wetlands are helping. They're made up of common reed and willow. As the plants grow, they're nourished by the excess nitrogen and phosphorus that's present in the rivers. Where do these nutrients come from and what's the impact of these floating islands? Arturis Rathinkova Spathiukas is head of the Live Lagoons project. Nitrogen is mostly coming from agriculture and phosphorus is mostly coming from the municipal wastewater. We have calculated how much of the nutrients one island could remove. So one island at the end uh, removing through the year the equivalent of the nutrients that produced by uh, two to three families. The project has a grant of 1.2 million euros, one million of which comes from the European Cohesion Policy. Live Lagoons has installed different types of floating wetlands in three southern Baltic countries, Germany, Poland and Lithuania. Like this one in this urban canal that flows into the Klaipeda Lagoon. Yolanta lives nearby. To begin with, she was surprised when she saw the floating object. The first time when I noticed it, I, I thought that it was supposed for maybe for the birds uh, to have their nests there. And yeah, then I thought about it like a, a kind of experiment or, or something like that, yeah. Purata and Renata are researchers. Once a year, they harvest the plants and flowers from the floating islands. The stems and leaves have developed thanks to the nutrients. This is one way they fight the nutrient and pollution excess, but it's not the only one, as they explained to us at the Marine Research Institute in Klaipeda, where samples from all the pilot wetlands in the project are analysed. The second way is the underwater part, which uh, contains the roots and the microorganisms attached to the roots of the plants and they process the organic matter and nutrients in the way that it could be removed into atmosphere or burrowed into the sediments. According to scientists, the clarity and biodiversity of the water surrounding the artificial islands have improved, with fish and birds finding shelter and food here. The biodiversity uh, found within the islands was as twice as high as the neighbouring habitats. Several EU countries have shown interest in the live lagoons floating wetlands.